Here is a question that has been bothering me since my childhood. Sorry, it's a long one. I don't agree and not in favor of God's current karma policy. It's not current. It's age old. It could be just because I don't understand it or it's probably the dharma of Kali Yuga where we are living in. In my prayers, I always bring up and have an argument with God. Of course, so far it has been one way argument. <clears throat> As to why the jiva, because it's safe you are. If she comes to argue with you, we can understand. If so, safe you are. As to why the jiva's bad karma has to spill over multiple births instead of letting him suffer in the same birth. Up to that end, stop the question. We cannot bear it. We don't know what karmas we have done, tons and tons and tons. Imagine every moment when a new disease coming to you, new disease, anywhere. Every moment is hurt, every moment suffering, suffering, suffering. No, she's so compassionate to give some pleasure and pain and pleasure in matching random feeling. Already, even with that only, you are crying. Oh, why I am reciting so much the Plata Dasram? Why on the earth I only get that? Why not Nitesri get it? See, why I only get it? If Nitesri also get it, I am happy. Two things. <laughs> so don't complain like that. It's all designed. Amma's decision, Amma's decision is perfect, the universal. Maybe in this small body, I'm not able to think. And I don't think, when I don't understand, better to just believe. I don't understand God, so I believe. I don't understand the rituals. My mother used to say, when you touch rice, please wash your hand. I never questioned her, because she's my mother. And our Brahmins, we don't touch anything after we touch rice. Even now, I do that, but I didn't question, because if I question, I won't be remembering my mother every time I wash my hand. Now, every day, every meal, I remember my mother, my physical mother. Touch, you too, and follow it. So certain things, when you don't understand, better, there are something better things to understand. They leave it. This is a hard thing, so surrender. Anyway, if she gives all the in games sometimes, you know you're going to win. But still, you exchange the game because you enjoy gaming. She's doing the same thing. She's going to win. Ultimately, she's the winner. And she wants to enjoy. Okay, all the jivas, every karma, that's it, only one birth. There's no birth. She has to close the doors and then the business closed. How many times she can close the business for one birth? There's no fun in this. It has to spill over, uh, uh, you know, Bahubali 1, Bahubali 2. If Bahubali 2 is shown in Bahubali 1, there's no fun. The suspense was created. And everybody enjoyed, including the Prime Minister also enjoyed. That is the mystery. Nobody can understand. Now he continues, by letting the jiva suffer in the same but for bad deeds, other people may realize that bad deeds indeed get punishment and try to do as many good things as possible in the current birth. My dear friend, you are not the doer. Read Chandi Park. Says the last chapter. When your time is bad, I am the one who comes to you as Alakshmi and give you bad thought and make you do bad things. There's no good and bad. These are relative terms. Mundane. But still, she says, because we are in the mundane world. When your time is good, I am the one who comes to you as Lakshmi and make you do good things. You don't exist. I exist. I'm the doer. You're the just witness. Now tell me. Jiva, suffer, punishment, all these are 
mundane thoughts. And then he goes further. It's somewhat okay with getting punished in multiple births. When the jiva becomes an adult, but it's very, 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 very disheartening to see very small and innocent kids go through terrible tortures and abuses, and we attribute it to bad karma in their previous life. I don't see any reason why they have to go through any physical and mental abuse as a kid. Can't at least wait until they become adult. I love this person. Such an innocent question. Did you read Bhagavatam? Kamsa killed seven kids of Devaki. Newborn babies. All at once. Did you question? Bhagavatam? There is no killing. There is no death. There is no birth. There is no pain. There is no pleasure. Nirvana Suttam is will help us. There is no dying, there is no, this is a game. Sometimes, you know, WWW, there is a channel where everybody will be punching everybody. I don't see that once I accidentally I see that. Well, that's a channel. People enjoy that. I don't enjoy. So, abortions. That, that's all their life. Tsunamis. She cannot kill everybody individually. She puts everybody at one mass. Boom. 6,000 people gone. Mass destruction. That's a game for her. And as a child, probably they don't know the torture also. An adult will feel more than the child. Maybe it's a blessing. Having said that, I'm not supporting torture to children. At the same time, everything happens with a reason. And nobody can question. If I can do something instead of questioning, do some dharma prachara. Go to the people. Like we are explaining, my goal is husband and wife, that's all. I want to see the family is happy. I advise the husband, I advise the wife to maintain the harmony. Like that, all of us, how many of us think of universe and that welfare in every prayer? You do that? Probably the mass prayer will reduce this pain. She will retrace her step and stop this violent games with her. A mass prayer. Constantly think. One of my prayer goals to bring this amendment to come up. See, I didn't read this question complete. Now he came to that adjustment. One of my prayer goals is to bring this amendment. No, you cannot amend karma, karma policy. <laughs> there is no policy. It's just simple. What you have done, you have to face it. Whether you are this much or this much. There is a Rishi. I forgot his name. He just played, you know, that uh, bumblebee or what, what you got? Bumblebee, right? That small insect with, they tied a rope, a small thread to the tail and then it flies. They hold like a kite. I don't know what they call in English. Tummeda uh, they say in Telugu. But well, that's all they he played. And for that, the punishment is a spear was put right in the center of the body, and he has to hang to the spear until he dies. Around thus, got a parrot and put it in a cage for 18 days. And he was put in prison for 18 years. Nobody questioned. In Tamil, there is a song, Vidu Kottuku Ponal Jai Kadu. You cannot file a case against that. It's a universal law. Whatever is done, it has to be paid. My, as a good Upasaka, 
my goal is bhadram karne mitrniyama deva bhadram pakte maksha virgetra i know amma you are playing very violently somewhere else please see that i don't see that i cannot stop you because that follows some karma philosophy i cannot amend that it all the good news which is good for me when i say good which is good for my life which will give me nice good advice how to lead the life that kind of news let it come to me madram bhakte maksha virtra tirairangi istuttu vagam swastalobi pese me deva hitam yadayu let me live for 100 years with good health so that i can do punya karma dharma karma which will please the celestial deities and that universal peace will stop this this pain in this mundane world swastena indra vridhya krava that indra and all the great old rishis let them be let good happen to them are they praying for them you do this prayers our life is for pleasure of that celestial powers when they are happy the world will be happy swastina pusha visaveda swastinattar kshu arishthanimi swastino brahaspadi dadatu deva guru let him give all that auspiciously om shanti 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 is this peaceful prayer let us end this violent question and we'll meet next week